Hey party people, it's your boy Topher and today I'm going to be talking about the newest update for the game Elden Ring. Uh, so first, the biggest and the most major nerfs I've seen, uh, Mimic Tier Ash damage has been lowered and the behavior has been changed, meaning the AI uh, has been changed that controls the Mimic Tier Ash. One article claimed the AI would roll and act more defensively, which can be good, but it definitely sucks that the damage has been lowered. Some players are claiming as much as a 50% decrease in effectiveness or in the power of their Horfrost Stomp, which is an Ash of War near Limgrave, I believe. I haven't used it or gotten it myself yet. It's just not, you know, something I've come across, but it sucks because it's also weaker and it was mentioned in the update along of the uh, Ash having increased casting times, which was really bad because I know a lot of people were using this as like a part of their rune farm near Mogwin's Palace, which is a really good place to farm still, just, you know, the AOE on that, I think it is an AOE attack, just isn't as good anymore. Um, also, Moonvale Katana has been apparently patched like a stealth patch or a stealth nerf, uh, and its stance attack animation time has been, you know, nerfed as well, so it's longer. Um, so I've heard both damage and uh, an increase in time for it to take, which sucks because I actually just changed my build to use that and it's still really effective. I was using it this morning. This is the day after the update. Still really effective for my R2, for like my heavy stance. Uh, the regular slicing stance, uh, I haven't really used it much. It hasn't really been that effective, so it kind of sucks. But the Bloody Slash self-inflicted damage has been increased, which sucks because that move is so easy to use when you're going up against like a really tough enemy, like or someone that's using a spear. The reason I know this is because when I first used this move is when I was going up against somebody with a spear, uh, Round Table Knight Vike in the Lord Contender's Ever Jail, and not to mention the damage itself took a hit as well as the cast time, because you can't have shit in Detroit or Limgrave or Elden Ring. Uh, sorry, that that one felt personal. I just I just had to take it there. So now for some positive stuff that was changed. Torrent's healing is up, which was much needed. So any of the items that you can use to heal Torrent, like uh, like the Raisin or uh, I forget what it's called, the Roa Fruit uh, that you turn into the actual thing that he eats. It's been raised for his HP healing, which is great. Weapon scaling has now been fixed, uh, at least for the most part, which means that weapons that use arcane scaling will now reap the benefits of their arcane attributes that I'm sure everyone, including me, grinded for because I didn't really use arcane and then I rebirthed a couple times and here we are. Um, which is good, and hopefully that fixes any other attributes that had improper scaling, but apparently Arcane was not scaling at all for any other weapons, so good for that. Um, the Mimic's Veil has more patterns for you to use, which I'm sure will be good in PvP if you're trying to trick somebody, or in PvE if you use it that much. I don't really use it, I just crouch and kind of walk by now that stealth is kind of a part of the game, but to each his own. Um, at night, there's background music that's been added. These are the major, you know, things that have been covered by a lot of these articles, but it, it seems pretty relevant. I like the music in the game. Um, these are all the major ones. New quest parts for Dialos, Nefeli, Kenneth, and Gatepe Gatekeeper Gustak. I don't really know who Kenneth or Gatekeeper Gustak is, but now they have new parts of their quest you can add on to. There are more summonable NPCs in certain parts, and there's a new NPC uh, in Jartown, or in Jarburg, I'm sorry, uh, Jarbairn. I don't know what his quest is yet. I haven't gone to see him, but he's a part of it now, baby. Um, now you can record an icon and the name of the NPC on the map, uh, which actually I did notice that today and after the update, but I didn't know I noticed it until today, where like Kale, his NPC, he has like his own little square in his face and it has his name on it. I just thought I'd miss that, but since it's, you know, uh, updated now, I know, okay, I didn't miss that. That's like a new part of it, which is cool. Um, some sorceries are seeing some decreased FP consumption, like the Glintstone Comet Shard, uh, Comet and Night Comet, which is really cool. I really just use Night Comet once in a while, uh, but those, you know, don't use them too much, but they're good for anybody who does. And it's nice to see some FP consumption decreases. Uh, and there's a whole list of sorceries that have reduced FP consumption, like Loretta's Great Bro, which is one of my personal favorite sorceries. Uh, Carrion Great Sword, Star Shower, and a few more, like five or six more that I just wasn't interested enough to like write down. I don't use them myself, but they're all great, I'm sure. Um, and then I have a list of the rest of the stuff that I didn't really see as a major, you know, update or haven't really used or noticed myself. It doesn't really affect me, but... There's a bug fix for summoned NPCs not taking damage, which sucks, but it definitely seems fair, especially during like boss battles. It's only fair that you kind of get, you know, left at the end and you have to deal with it yourself, but 
I know for some people, you know, not being able to cheese kind of sucks. Bug fix for some players that couldn't obtain item after boss battles, which is really important because I'm not going to spend all this time leveling up and, you know, fighting all these random characters and then fight a huge boss and then feel like I got nothing from it other than like a finger furl calling whatever that thing is. Like that would suck. So good for that. Uh, bugs that cause dialogue skips when using custom key configs. I'll assume that's on PC or maybe even some console players. Uh, I don't really have a reason to change the keys around on like my console or the, the keys. If it's keys, it's probably PC anyways, but to change the configuration, so I'm assuming PC. Um, there was a bug where the player was freezing when riding. This one I'm not really understanding what they mean by that. I mean, I assume they mean Torrent um, when you're riding him, you know, unless... No, I'm just kidding. It's probably riding the torrent. Uh, this one I ripped. Uh, I'll just read it. Uh, in situation where the player cannot obtain more than two talisman pouches, added talisman pouch to Twin Maiden Husk's shop lineup. I just added that word for word, and since I really can't think of a situation where a player gets three or more pouches at once, like I've only ever gotten one at a time. So do what you will with that, though it seems like it's very convenient for anyone in that situation. Maybe it's a PvP thing that I just don't understand. And I don't even know if I covered half of what was mentioned in that update, but the entire list is on Bandai Namco's website that I'll link in the description. So you can read on to see if there's anything that I missed that affects your build, or if that's gonna change the way you play, you know, anything that's like negative for you. There was a couple other things like shields have been buffed, um, like shield effectiveness and stuff like that, but not really anything is huge as all the other stuff I mentioned in my opinion. Um, I will say that there are a couple people commenting on articles I've seen that have covered this uh, that criticize the huge update in a Souls game like this because in past Souls games they've had things that were like super broken that needed to be nerfed like lightning in Dark Souls 3. I, I could have sworn I heard that was in 1-2 where you take like that lightning attack and you just throw it. Like that had to be nerfed right? Um, but there's other aspects that they wouldn't change like being able to cheese a boss, so maybe related to like NPCs not taking as much damage that they wouldn't touch for a while. And I looked this up just to be sure. I'd looked up all the patches that have come out for three. There's a lot in there, but this is definitely like the things I mentioned is not even, I don't genuinely don't even think half of what's happened in this update. So maybe they're just taking it a lot more seriously. Uh, but it is kind of weird to see that. But apparently, most of this is due to the fact that a lot of people would get griefed by a lot of these things like lightning. Um, like in PvP, people would get griefed by other players using these broken ass things. So it's nice to know that they're considering it, but um, some people think that FromSoft should just let PvE be in a state of break it however you can, is a, is a comment I got, I saw, I'm gonna add that screenshot. Um, meaning, you know, if I can break it and I can win and take advantage of this very hard game, why shouldn't I? And I will say, I do have a feeling of like, oh wow, a lot of enemies are a lot tougher than I've anticipated and tougher than they have been in other games, like even low level enemies, just like in any other game, they can all bring you down. But I will say I've moved on and, and finished stuff a lot faster in this game. Maybe just it's because of the horse, but that's just me. Um, but I wanna know what you guys think. So, you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, and for anyone watching that's seen my videos before, I know this is a bit different than content I've made in the past. So if you like videos like this, just let me know. You know, like it, tell your friends, tell them to watch it, subscribe, comment, whatever, so I can make more. Uh, and if you don't, let me know below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate you getting to this point in the video. Uh, like I said, let me know if there's any comments you have. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.